hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosives One TNT Nihana M T H T. What up, Johnny? Nothing, dude. How I, uh... are you today, man? Oh, dude, I was feeling. A little, I'd take a little nappy nap, nap, dude. I'm I... Passed out, dude. Oof. Mm. Mm, you know I hate that. <laughs> hate what? <laughs> Nappy nap naps. Oh, I hate it when you do that. Yeah, mm. I know you do. I was feeling under the weather mm. and I slept. The cringe it causes in my spirit <laughs> is just like so strong when you do that. <laughs> I do it because you love it. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for sitting down and recording us talking with me today, TNT. <laughs> what? I'm not a fucking guest. I'm here every goddamn episode. I said thank you for recording with me. <laughs> what you, um, what whether you? you're watching us on our YouTube channel on Crazy Town Media, please subscribe there or uh, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. This dude Twitch. Yeah, TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. Uh, that's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch TV. Dude. Dude. So I heard something today. Yes. That I thought would be kind of interesting uh what is it you've heard of joe rogan before right uh yeah yeah i don't frequent his uh podcast but it's popular yeah yeah people watch it see extremely popular oh yeah yeah yeah. like ridiculous he's like the he's like the podcast guy yeah basically um but i saw a i don't even know who was the guy that tweeted it out but it was like joe rogan the competition had said that he wants to uh no truth not facts i don't know the whole story behind (laughs) but he would love to he would love to mediate the debate between trump and biden and it would just be the three of them in a room with cameras for four hours talking about how they would how they would write the country I would love to see it. And and then whoever tweeted it, I think it was some guy from a news station, said, Joe Rogan suggested yada, yada, yada. Who would want to see that? Trump retweeted it with a comment that said, I do. <laughs> no! <laughs> Somebody needs to take his phone, dude. <laughs> Somebody needs to take the man's phone phone you can't take his phone but dude i'm not mad at it let's dude, go they should do it i would love it it would be like the most watched president dude joe oh rogan mediating God. those two guys talking back and- this is what we've come to america <laughs> this is what we've come to fucking joe rogan is doing <laughs> like <laughs> town hall debates <laughs> <laughs> what the he, fuck? The man who had Elon Musk smoking weed on his I podcast is going to say that, dude. I hope he offers dude, them both he, a joint. He, yeah, he gets Trump and Biden high, and they just like talk about America for. <laughs> Could you imagine the amount of security that would be, have to be at an event like that? Holy shit, man! You got Secret Service and then Biden's gang and fucking They'd, like, Joe Rogan. Full cavity search Joe Rogan before he'd be he'd be handcuffed <laughs> to the table so he couldn't get up. Wow, and cut. really? I don't, I don't know, dude. I'm- yeah, I don't know. I, I think I think it's a good idea though. I would like to see more. Uh, I would like to see that take taken on uh, presidential uh, debates or well, even like uh, conversations. Honestly, well, I would too. I would like to see more natural conversations. Between exactly, because like everything is so convoluted and practiced. Like at the debates, they I I have a feeling they know what what kind of questions are coming. They know what questions are coming, and they have loaded answers. Are you kidding me? Right, dude. So it's like, they I freestyle would, a little bit. Right, dude. right, right. They I think yeah, exactly. Or it may, maybe if they don't know the exact question, they'll be like, there'll be a question about energy reform there'll be a question about no. education you know whatever these they want them to look my, as good as possible my dude when when a rapper goes into a, <laughs> a freaking radio station or something or even any interviews they're like these are a list of questions any of these questions that you don't like we can take off and, that, too, and yeah. he just looks at the list and he's like don't ask me about this don't ask me about this don't ask me about this these questions are acceptable yes and then you just freestyle a little bit but you know yeah. what's coming <laughs> Yeah, and, and then for, that, that's why people walk out because they start asking them about stuff. They yeah, they, they, they hey, stuff. that's not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> that's not on the list. So what about your little bit child that you had, and they're like, "I'm done with this interview." Yep, <laughs> <laughs> that's not on the list. <clears throat> Breaking embargoes. Breaking embargoes. Yeah, so I would love to see it, Jones. That'd be a great idea. In fact, I told you that I wanted to get the president on here. Honestly, I want I want Donald Trump. If you're listening. Or, I'm sure he does every week. Or Joe Biden, if you're listening. Yeah, either one. Even Kamala or uh, Mr. Pence, dude. Mr. 
<laughs> yes, either one of those people would be nice. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, my they, face, they, dude. they would be that. Would, that yes, that's fine. Mm, <laughs> those are the, that's either the one of those fine people would be also acceptable. Fine. Yes, but uh, any of them. I tried. I want to get either one of you guys want to come on to the podcast you, and talk to us. If you had to, got to ask Let's Trump go. or Biden one question, what would you ask him? Um, uh, I mean, it, obviously, putting you on the spot's okay if you don't have an answer. But if, if, name, if you, name, name me your your biggest failure. <laughs> okay. Boom. Well, one of them would have You're would not be able now. to give you any answer for sure. The other one who maybe could give you one. Who what? Is, who was that? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> who was that? One of them, dude. Yes. Who is it? Like, is this like one of them always tells the truth I, and one of them always tells a lie? No, one of them just doesn't think they ever fail. Who is that? Guess. I don't know who is that. It's like um, a racist comment. No, why is that funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I don't understand. Why, why is, is it that? funny when you say that? Why is that funny? Like people like the what? I don't get it. What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't get. Wait. So you're saying? <laughs> can you explain that in detail to me? Yeah. Um, I would. I I would like to ask them. Um, who who? How many presidents they could name? <laughs> What? <laughs> How many presidents could you name? Could you name them? Yeah. No, I, I don't know. I if think that's... you have a job. And there's only 45 of them. You should be able to name at least half. This is the difference between me and a Jonas interview. <laughs> no, dude, <I'm... laughs> no, I know you'd come up with good questions, I but would. you're on the spot. And I understand how many presidents would you name? That's good. I'm sure they could probably name 10 or 15. I could probably do 10 or 15. All right, you want to go? I'm not naming <laughs> fucking presidents on Mark this Van Buren. Go. You're not doing this. Who are, last one that can't answer. Johnny Roosevelt. <laughs> I don't, Johnny Roosevelt. <laughs> I guess I lose. <laughs> Looks like we got to move on. Uh, uh, shucks. Shucks dang. You dude. win. What do you got for me? What do I got? Oh, yeah. I do got a little something. All right. Cool. So uh, in Los Angeles, do you remember Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Of course, we all do, Jonas. We all do. Who? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You you love that show. Stop I did. It. I loved it. Who um, didn't love so that? So the mansion that was like the Uncle Phil mansion. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in L.A. and it was actually used as like a a film studio. Is it in Bel Air? Yeah, uh, it might be. It might be. It's, it may be in. But I'm thinking either Anyways, way. I don't fucking yeah, know yeah. for sure. But either way, they are Airbnb this place out for the 30 year anniversary. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so this is in Wake or in Lou. Of the uh, the fact that they're actually redoing, they they got a two season deal to redo a uh, like a dramatic type of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and it's going to be I think it's with HBO or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but it's like one hour episodes, and they got two seasons approved already. And like with Will Smith, uh, I'm not sure, but Will Smith is on like, he's... or is it based on that fake trailer that came out? It was kind of based on that because that blew up, and then they're like, hey, we could do this as a series. So they're doing it as like right, a more like dramatic because like that was obviously a goofball comedy show with with yeah. real messages yeah. in it. Yeah, like, I liked it. Um, I'm I'm actually kind of I'm going to watch it. I want to see at least an episode. I would too or two. because if they had if they if the real story about like a kid who's in a from a rough neighborhood and he gets sent to, and he's like in and, and then he gets sent to Bel Air to go live with his rich family and like mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. adjusting to life how different it like I think that could, they it really could be yeah. a good series. Yeah, we're all familiar with the story. It's a pretty cool story, and I think it's gonna I think it's gonna do f fucking numbers. I think it's gonna be a good show. Yeah, but the house kind of based didn't that really. Happen? happened to will smith i don't know i, I thought that know. was kind of based on his like real i don't know it may be like you know art begats life um but the house the uncle phil house was a was a studio and their air being being this place out in the 30 year anniversary and in lieu of this new series that's coming out 30 dollars a night you can 30 bucks you can that's cheaper than like austin's Airbnb. I, I know right and you can get into the fresh <laughs> prince of bel air mansion house um now majority of it is kind of like a studio studio type thing but uh they, you get access to will smith's bedroom bathroom the dining room and the poolside and guest house the one that Carlton and uh, Will, Will Smith kind of lived in, yeah, yeah, for a little while. So yeah. that's pretty cool. So you get the guest house, the pool, and like the dining room and Will Smith's room. Yeah, in his bed, in his bathroom. Okay, I wonder, is it still set up like that? I think they have it set up to be like thematic and everything. 
But um, you don't get like the living room isn't there. Obviously, the kitchen isn't accessible. Right, either. right. You're coming with a lot of uh, Airbnb takes. Do you have like the insider news? Like you had the Blockbuster Airbnb. You got oh, this. Yeah, are you, are you like? Are you got like the emails from Elon, the Elon of Airbnb no, or some shit? No, dude. I just find the, I just found like it's sweet. I thought it would be awesome to like spend a night in the Blockbuster or even spend a night in the Wilson. I Come agree on, a thousand fuck? percent. But unfortunately, Jonas, if you want to get in, it's already sold out. Obviously, and you're looking at like. Uh, you're looking at a wait. You're looking at a wait if you want to get in but again. Why are they only charging thirty bucks a night? It's a thirty year anniversary of Fresh Prince, and the new show is coming out. It's all promotion. All right? I That's basically what they want people to get hot in the streets. I mean, it got me talking about it when I was like, "What? I can get in a Fresh Prince house?" I was literally looking at the Airbnb prices, and then sold out. Yeah, dude. It's until you travel during a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we can't get anybody in there. All right, fucking <laughs> politicizing. The pod. Yeah, how is that politicized? Is, is this Politipod? Because <laughs> I said you have to travel during a pandemic. No. Um. So, did you know that three states of our country are in hell right now? <laughs> California, Oregon, and what? I Washington. Washington. They're all on fire, right? Yeah. Well, like the sky's fucking red, dude. I know. Did you see the pictures? You, if you haven't seen the pictures at home, you gotta look up pictures of the this. UPS truck like hanging out. That one is iconic, that, dude. That, that shit one is, is about to be a screensaver. Oh yeah, dude. That was like, which is kind of awful. That was like the best. Uh, <laughs> kind of bad. Best I, guess. I was like, yeah, I didn't know UPS delivered to hell. <laughs> like it was, yeah. just, it was just like, yeah, and that girl who's downtown in some inner town. She's like, it's just. Yeah. Bright ass red. Dude. It's crazy. I, it's like you don't really have an idea. It's like living up north, you know what snow is. People down south, people out west, they don't really understand what snow is because right, right, they right. never experienced it. And if they did, they'd be like, "What the fuck? How do you people live like this?" You move down south, and I lived in Florida. Hurricanes, and I've never experienced a hurricane. But I'm like, "What the fuck? How do you people live like this?" <laughs> you move out west, and it's like, "Hey, there might be a." Month long fire that going might, on in nature <laughs> that might just happen. Yeah, <laughs> every year. Yeah, it dude. happened last. year I mean, it hasn't been this bad in a long time. I though. know it has. What, what the fuck? How are there just thirty day long fires? That doesn't that doesn't even compute with somebody from the north or from the south. Right, it's never dry it. enough in the north. To, we just don't see shit like. Well, that. yeah, because it's wet there with snow for. Like I mean, six I months understand how physics works, but I just mean it's crazy <laughs> it that is. these people are living with month long fires. Yeah, and and like it could engulf their whole house, like. And they're just like, and they'll be like, you need to move or you need to get out because the fire's coming. And they're like, put oh. it out. Yeah. <laughs> just put it out, dude. Why can't you just fucking put it in the fire? Get yeah. some fucking water, dude. Why? I'd be out there with a solo cup right now, Jonas. Yeah, I bet that would work. Okay, well, I know it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I would, uh, like, people out there need masks for a whole other reason, dude. Because they kind of, like, <laughs> <laughs> prevent the goddamn. <laughs> Prevent the goddamn smoke particles from getting in their lungs. Uh, I don't think the M95 is going to protect you from ash sky. It's it's sad though, honestly, Jonas. It it's really a sad is, state of affairs. And I know, I even even like through the pictures and through the news you hear, and yeah, like, you don't really understand what's going on out Dude, there. Dude, have you seen the videos of people driving down the roads and the fires are yeah. like closing in on? Yeah, that yeah. is that would be the most. I would shit my pants. You could die. You, you yeah like it could because it could just sweep across the road and then you're done and if you try to drive through it it will melt your fucking tires like it'll make your car stop like it's like dude it's scary as fuck like it kind of is man that's nuts well and this they, i mean not just this fire i've seen like in years past like fire like firefighters and fire trucks driving and it looks like the whole fucking truck is engulfed in flames <laughs> and they're just like well Pedal the metal. Let's see if we can get through it. It's just like the scariest shit. And it's just like it's just like second nature a lot of the times, man. If if you've lived through four or five of these things and you're like you know, uh, like thirty, forty years old, it's like oh, there's fire. Just walk to the grocery store. Yeah. Just like that picture of the dog holding the mug. I'm fine. Just, <laughs> just this is fine. This is yeah, good. It's dude, just fire. It's fine. It's completely fine. It's all fine. No, but uh, our love, respect, condolences to the people of California because Oregon, uh, Washington. They've all Oregon lost their and lives Washington or yeah. their lives. 
Yeah, man. Because I couldn't imagine it's just like, hey, you need to go. I mean, I guess it's similar to like a hurricane. It's like gather up your favorite shit and get out of your house in an hour. I just remembered a story. Go. So the fire that was started in, I believe, California, truth, not facts. All right. All right. Do you know how it was started? Probably some asshole burning hot dogs. No. Do you know how it was started? No, do not. Well, somebody decided to do one of the good old-fashioned gender reveal parties with some tanner right. Some it's going to blow up and there's going to be sparking blue smoke to let everybody know that your baby has a penis. Oh, and that's how one of them started? And the fire started. The person who actually came up with the idea for the gender reveal party, like the first person, I guess that's uh, like that, like event planned them or whatever. Yeah, I think she, I saw an article about her. Yep. She has actually said that these things need to stop because it is ridiculous how this many people have natural disaster, how many people have gotten hurt. How many people have lost their lives? We've done that a story. grandma, dude, who got hit by the shrapnel and died. Because people are making improvised explosives. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I don't understand what's wrong with getting the cake and having the batter be blue. And you cut it open and you're like, yep, there it is. Or you open a box of cigars and it's like, oh, they have a blue wrapper on them. Like, there you go. Like, No, it's got to be. It's just got to be crazy. And I, I I, mean, I get it. It's fun to make improvised explosives <laughs> for a good purpose. You know, you've been wanting to flex those improvised explosives. Any skills. dad wants to just blow shit up. He's like, we're having a baby. This is my last chance. Sam, I want to blow shit up right now. This is probably a bad time to say that out of context in the same episode that we were just talking <laughs> about having a presidential interview, possibly. I do not want to blow anything up. Let's put that right up. Just but like I, like nothing yeah. that, that would cause any harm. Like just like yeah, Dude. like put a firecracker in a glass cat statue. Oh my God. Like Jones, one of those. Jones, when is the last time you just threw a fucking beer bottle at the ground and watched that motherfucker smash? You do not have I ever done that. Mm, you do not know the orgasm. Wow, the destruction, mental, the mental tantric sex that that thing causes to your. When the have I? Dest- what was the last time I just destroyed something to destroy? It? Oh, Jonas, they have bars that you can do that stuff at. Not bars, but like uh, places you can do that. Just go and destroy things. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're in this country. Dude, we should do that. Awesome. We should open that. Like, people can come in and just, like, if, like, when you drink, you can, like, throw your, like, there'll be a, the beer bottle smashing corner. Like, when you're done, you smash your beer bottle in the corner. <laughs> we got to come up with the proper legal document first. <laughs> like, hey, yo, you enter these doors. You on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of insurance. Got to sign a waiver and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, you get pit- you get done drinking your beer, you just grab the chair and and smash it on the floor, dude. Yeah, there's places they like have like cheap china and shit on the wall. It's like, here, here's a bat. Go at it. That'd be fun, dude. It would be fun, dude. Get like that set up like primal a primal aggression. Like, out. Well, yeah, because you could like imagine like buying like a bunch of like dollar pint glasses. I mean, you can buy a glass pint glass in the store for a dollar. If you bought that shit in bulk, you mm-hmm. could get them for nothing essentially, and you could set them up and let people just go in and destroy them yeah, and charge sure. them like a hundred bucks. Like if if I was like. Hey, you can go in this room and anything in it you can break for a hundred dollars, and you get five minutes to break all you want. Mm. No, I'm probably good to be honest. I could think of something, but me myself, I I would I was kind of I was memeing a little bit when I was talking about break. I would love to break a bottle, but I don't know if I'm going to spend a hundred bucks on it. There's somebody out there who would. Oh, absolutely, dude. So like, we need to like put them on a watch list. Get their aggression out. Yeah, like I think we'd have to turn over our like logbook to like the police or Why? something. <laughs> just, I'm just saying, dude, if you're willing to pay a hundred dollars to go in a room and just start breaking shit, man, you got some. You got some things. You need to talk to somebody. You need yeah, to talk. I was gonna say because you started talking about that, and I was like, when was the last time I broke anything on purpose? Exactly. I was like, I don't think I have. Well, yeah, you unless probably... it was something I knew was gonna get thrown in the trash, and I'm like, oh, well, let me just break it a little bit before I throw it away. Like, yeah, uh, you, I, you know, it's been a long time for me, but I. I definitely have in the past so i love it <laughs> yeah breaking things is fun mm-hmm. yeah i don't like breaking things i need that sucks <laughs> <laughs> fair enough like when people get mad fair and break shit like people, like people who get pissed and throw their phone and stuff and then they break it and they're like oh man oh, i broke man. my phone you're like you're an idiot we've all had that friend who threw the controller Oh, yeah, I used to do it when I was a kid. You've broken controls. I absolutely have. So you've broken stuff. That was like,
like 11 years Fucking old. Still? Yeah, dude. I was mad, though. I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't think it was going to break. I was frustrated. Oh, so you threw it without intent to break. That's when you learned about I the frailty of, of life. I threw it out of frustration. That's how I learned consequence. I was like, oh, this was my programmable Super Nintendo controller. And I Damn, threw, broke the left bumper threw off a it. programmable? So I learned how thing I learned consequences that way, dude. No. I broke I broke the left bumper off my programmable, dude. No, not the programmable. I know, dude. I had to. I could do the dude. I could e Honda and just hold the button, and it was like, and like <laughs> was, the Lee. That was the rapid fire. Yeah, dude, it was good. I, I have to you could it. turn it on and turn it had off. A little screen on it, dude. It was a, it was an uber fancy one. It was like a thirty dollar controller. Right I remember. Right? The, whoa! <laughs> right Shit. now, now just the controller sixty bucks. Yeah, if not. Uh, a couple hot, hot hits before we go. Borat 2 is coming out. Yeah, I saw that. I um, saw him do uh, one of the skits at a uh, Trump rally, too. It was funny. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> he was, whoa, he was singing some inflammatory lyrics. and oh, People I'm were just sure. jiving along to it. Like, yeah. Uh, also, fuck uh, Al-Qaeda. What the fuck did All Gas No Breaks go do? He was, uh, at, he was a Sturgis. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dude. that was an interesting one. Did you, man, and the outbreak, the or not the outbreak, but the uh, the outcome from that Sturgis thing is a lot of people. I don't know an exact number, but I did hear this story too. A lot of people came up with. COVID. Oh yeah, well, because people came from all over the country there. Oh uh, yeah, it was bound to happen, but people just weren't taking it serious, and it fucking happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely, dude. I think they've equated at least one death from the event. I mean, and that's when you think of like two hundred fifty thousand people. That doesn't seem like a lot, but there's probably going to be more. Um, oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people that don't equate. That's how they got it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. they, John Smith comes home, <laughs> doesn't know he's sick, then, like, and then his, somebody else gets sick, and they don't know they got it from John Smith. They just think they don't know where they got it from. So, Well, they usually, I think with this, like, we've been fortunate enough not to get it, but I think they ask you where have you been in, like, the last six months. Oh, gosh. Any, have house. you been to any other than? But you know, yes. here's the thing, dude. If one of us ended up with it, like it's like, yeah, I went to I went to the grocery store. I went to you know, it's like. It's, <laughs> I like, mean, yeah, for us, but you know, some people, oh, other people are like, yeah, oh some yeah, people gotta live their wild life. wings, watch a football game. I went to the new grandma bar, dude. Hung out with grandmas. I just kind of want to know where it's coming from. I guess I don't oh, know. I'm gonna add this real quick before the end of the episode. Uh, I was watching football. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know this existed. But what the football players are doing to track for coronavirus tracking, they all are wearing these bands, and every band has a unique number identifier, and it will tell every band it's been in contact with how long it was in contact with them and how close it got to them. Yeah. So I was like, NBA dude, that's really too. fucking cool. Like NBA but, has those too. Oh, is it? Yeah, I thought that's a really cool like tracking thing. They're just gonna give them to everybody in the country and track us every everywhere we go. Yeah, it's called I'll our pass. cell phones. I mean, <laughs> anyways. I'll pass. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm good. It's but I was called like, our cell phones. I mean, pretty uh, much. Well, but uh, but no, dude, I thought that was I thought that was really cool. Like, yeah, that, that they did that. They have that sort of technology to like yeah, for, tra pretty, for contact tracing. So. They're pretty cool. If I was being paid millions, I'd wear one. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, White House. You want to pay me millions to wear one of those around? <laughs> no, not just you. <laughs> they got to convince everybody. Uh, to do it. I'll wear one for a couple mil, dude. Give us a $1,200 I mean, They're check. like, oh, where'd you go? I'm like, oh, my bedroom, the kitchen, Walmart. <laughs> 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 oh, you got me. I've been everywhere. Uh, but yeah. All right, man. Well, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed listening to us talk about bullshit. Uh, this this dude does Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town to Twitch.tv. Yeah, for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Uh...